guys and welcome to another episode of my famous buildings in the world in Minecraft tutorial Frank's edition and today we'll be building the Arc de Triomphe hopefully I pronounced that correctly and that's the structure that was right behind me and so as you can see there's a bit tweaks difference that I made since my last episode which mainly is that I moved my original build of Eiffel Tower back here because I decided to, I wanted to build this something that was more scale based. So I decided that, so I first built my Alta Trough again, and then, I mean, my Alta Trough, and then I decided to base the scale from there. So I built my newer Eiffel Tower, which is right behind, which I will be doing showcase at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. And so. That's what basically happened, and there's actually an, another announcement that I'll be making. But before I do that, let me just actually fix this uh, box because I realized I made the scale difference. So my second announcement that I'm making is regarding my other Minecraft series, the Farming Valley Reboot. And I'm thinking to take a break on that series. Mainly because I, I do put a lot of effort, and yet there, there isn't much views. I mean, obviously that shouldn't be my main concern, but I just feel like maybe it's just not in much of an interest to most people. So I decided to take a break. Maybe I'll find a newer series or maybe find a way to make that video more interesting. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the build. So let's see what materials we will be needing for this build. So in this chest is my items. Oops, and I realized I took out one of each, so I'll have to do that. So it's just two stack. I mean, it's a stack and 20 blocks of chiseled quart block. It is two stacks and 16 of quart stairs. It's three stacks and 34 blocks of uh, quart block, uh, uh, bricks. It's 16 quartz pillar. Uh, 10 quartz slabs, uh, I think it was 16 buttons, and 4 armor stands. I know I'm going over, so I'm, I'm actually doing a voiceover because I forgot, I realized I wasn't recording properly with my audio, so anyway, but yeah, also you'll be needing 4 sets of iron armor, because you'll be making those statues with iron. And the dimension for this build will be 7 by 11 blocks, like the image you see in the front. Okay, so let's get right into it. So let's start with our chisel quart blocks. So one block ahead, and then so you do two by three, like so, and then one out, like that. So it'll be like seven quarts to chisel quart block. And then three, oh, three blocks away from that will be another two by three with one out, like so. So, and then you'll be mirroring that on the other side. So five blocks away from the other side would be the same thing. So two by three with a one. And then one, the last one you'll just need to do, which is two by three. Oops, that's misflick with one. And then next, you'll be placing the quartz bricks. So it'll be same thing except for that outer piece. So it'll be two by three only because that one extra bit will be the pedestal for the armors. The armor stand with the iron armor. And yeah, so two by three on the rest of them. And like so. We'll be repeating that but before that let me just put all the four armors stands on it. So like so. And then I'm just going to remove my armor stand so that I don't have to war I because I don't have to worry that I need another armor. And yet yeah, I just do two more stacks. I mean two two more of these. Like so it'll be what this is a first layer and this actually no, this will be a yeah, this will be a second layer, and then there'll be another one that'll be going on top of that. So like so, yeah, two by three again. Like so. And after that, you'll be using your stairs, like so. So upside down stairs on either side, 
we're now making the smaller arc. Oops, that's misclick. So yeah, that. So we'll put like a cross like that, and the same on this side. And on the other end, you'll do the same. So there'll be the small arc that'll be going through the long side. It's kind of like a tunnel, more or less. And then now you'll put three by seven, so twenty-one quart brick blocks across, uh, like this. I just forgot to put the middle one first. But yes, the, and the same, obviously the same thing on the other side. Like so. And now that we're done here, now let's go on to the bigger arc, or at least part of the bigger arc that I'm trying to get at. So I'll be using the quartz there again, upside down on the, either side. And I'm just going to go all the way across with these quartz stairs. And same thing on this side as well. Now that we got that done, let us place, I believe, more bricks. Actually, no. There will be also some chiseled blocks, like so. And, and, and if you actually look at the real Arc du Trance, it does have these kind of art pieces that are kind of right above these, around this area. So it'll be, that's kind of what this chisel bit is supposed to represent, but it's not accurate exactly but yeah you get the idea so yeah that's what i'm going to do and obviously i'll do the same thing on the other side so and before that i'll just fill in this you can see that i'm actually going to leave that kind of blank and that is actually i mean if you want you could fill that but it's your uh, preference oops that's not supposed to be pillar that is supposed to be chisel but yeah I'm just doing it so that it's for people who are in survival who would like to build this, they can think about the saving materials. But yeah, so more upside down stairs there. Oops, that's a misclick a few times. Oof. Okay, yeah, so just finish that. And on, and then after that, on like right beside it, you'll put these slabs. So like right across this exact area. Yeah, like that, but just all the way across. So like so. And that's all done with the bigger arc. And now I'm going to put down these stairs because I want to make kind of an indentation. I don't know if it, there's an exact indentation here per se on the real one, but I just wanted to make some dimension rather than putting all like just square blocks, which will make it just like flat, which will make a flatish kind of structure, which isn't exactly bad, doesn't really look great. But yeah, so now we put the chisel blocks on top of those stairs, which I believe also was what I represent another piece of kind of art that was on the top. I'm not exactly sure if it was all the way around. There might have been some with no painting, which means I could have put a few bricks, but no matter. But yeah, so as you can see in the middle, I am not really filling any. And just to let you know also, uh, oh, well, I'm also going to put these perimeter of brick blocks, but yeah. Just to let you know, I maybe you might be having extra blocks because I did place some somewhere where I might have put some bricks on the bottom as well where I haven't at there. So just to let you know, there might be extra. And another thing, tip is right now I'm putting stairs all the way around these upside down stairs all the way around these bricks, but so that means you won't be seeing those bricks. So. You could technically be using any sort of material for that, but I just decided to build it with this to kind of have it a uniform sort of material that I'm using rather than having different materials per se. Oops, and that just has to go all the way around like so. And then now we're going on to the almost the very top, which now I'm going to use the pillars. So I'm going to do every other piece. So like starting from a corner, all the way around and just like so every other so you'll be leaving blank for every others because you'll be needed and just remember don't put it like that or else it'll go sideways obviously but i'm pretty sure any minecraft player would know that if you place it on the side it'll face sideways so yeah now that we're done with that put chisel blocks in between like so and there we go we're done with that and because I want to make some dimension again it's like how I put the stairs I use buttons on these 
And if you actually look at the real one again, there, I feel like there is kind of these kind of bump out in that area. So I think it's more accurate with those, but I am not 100% sure because I never actually visited Paris. I did go to France, but not Paris. But yeah, so now that we're done there, I'm going to use the stairs yet again. This will be my last time I'm using the stairs. Like, and then like that, right side up. This is in a way to act as kind of the wall on the top roof area. Because if you actually look at the top of the Arc de Trophe, there is a bit of place where people can walk around. I don't know if it's actually open to public or anything. But yeah, so, and then I use the brick as kind of like the standing area where people can stand and so on and so forth. Like, so just fill the bricks here. And if you, again, I'm saying it like multiple times, but if you really want to fill everything up, it, it doesn't, uh, you would need more blocks. But I mean, if you want, go ahead. I don't, I mean, it's your build anyway at the end of the day. And then on that, so we just need three by five. Uh, brick blocks, just like so, or it could technically, I guess it could have, I could have probably just used regular quart blocks, but yeah, either or, and then three slabs, like so, and we're done with the slabs. And now last but not least, we need to finish this with those statues actually having something rather than the bare bones. So let me just put all these iron armor onto these armor stand to make it look more vibrant. So yeah, we're just finishing up with our last, there we, and our last, oh, and there seems to be an egg that was laid by a chicken here. So yeah, and the, let me just break that, remove all the materials. So yeah, voila! We are finally done with our Arc de Triomphe build. Hopefully you guys like it. Let me know if there's any improvement I could have made with this build. But yeah, there we go. We finished our build. And before we end off this video, let me just give you a quick tour as I promised. So this is my tower. So let's start off. This is the bottom base. Oops, there must have been some dirt that I need to remove. So yeah, uh, the, just a short view of the bottom base there. And now that's the first floor of the bottom. So it's actually, the, the, I believe there are three total of three floors. I may, there may be more. But at least there's at least for sure three floors. So that was the base floor. Oops, I came out through the roof of that area. And so yeah, that's the small arc. And there's the big arc. Well, not arc, though it's a small kind of whole area that's in between floors. So this is the second floor. And as you can see, that's my other original Out of Trump build, which I decided to scrap and build a, a scalable one. And yeah, and finally, we're at the... Uh, that's hard to get into, but yeah, that's it, our highest area, top of there, but kind of cramped. But yeah, so that is my bigger version of Eiffel Tower. So that ends our tour of that other build that might or might not be in our tutorial. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me down. Let me know down in the comments if there's anything that I could improve or what I could build in the future in the world that you would like to see. And see you guys in the next video. Bye!